Today on The Topping Show, Supreme Court rules that Biden cannot just throw money away and forgive student loans with taxpayer dollars. So the Supreme Court preserves religious liberties. The AK guy goes up against the ATF. The Barbie movie has the corporate office versus the actors. Theo Vaughn and Roseanne Barr for his castle culture. Nike changing pricing and strategy. Apple hits the $3 trillion mark. Goldman Sachs wants out of the Apple partnership. Sriracha sauce is having a little bit of a shortage. Bucky's opens yet another one of the largest stores again. Bud Light goes back on Twitter and still gets ratioed again. And California is now approved to sell lab-grown meat. All that and much, much more on The Topping Show. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of The Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. And we have a fun little advertisement to celebrate the holiday today. Hi there, I'm Topping, and I'm the founder of Topping Technologies. We're an IT value-added reseller and services company, and we're American. That's why we're giving away a 50 caliber musket with every July purchase. See details in the post. To celebrate the most important document and the most important event in history, the Declaration of Independence and the 4th of July. On July 4th, 1776, the original 13 colonies wrote the Declaration of Independence told Great Britain the most important fact in history. We are free, and we will not be ruled by Great Britain. Here is my favorite excerpt of the Declaration of Independence. Quote, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Unquote. Let Topping Technologies be the catalyst to revolutionizing your IT needs. Now, other interesting cultural news, you have Barbie moving. And the Barbie movie is scaring the living daylights out of the executives because they're going head-to-head against the actresses. Now, the Barbie was first produced on March 9th, 1959, invented by Ruth Handler. She was one of the, I believe, one of the founders also of Hasbro. Her and her husband actually, I believe, made Hot Wheels toys. One of the most inspirational entrepreneurial couples in retail history or production of toy history for sure. Now, you have the head executive producers of Mattel Films, Robbie Brenner, who is a woman, saying that Barbie isn't a feminist movie, and many of the other executives at Mattel are saying, no, this has nothing to do with politics. Don't look here. It's just a movie about a doll. The movie's also rated PG-13. Because that makes sense, because a lot of you know, kids, you know, yeah. No, actually, no, it doesn't make sense. I think the average Barbie buyer is preteens. I don't know these things. I would guess, though. Now, they've had many production issues. You have not only the the head producer saying that it's not a feminist movie, you have the chief operating officer of Mattel, Richard Dixon, flew out to London multiple times to argue with director Greta Gerwig and Noma, Noah Bombich, who wrote the movie. And you also have Margaret Abbey, who apparently, I did research, she is apparently an actor or actress, and she's very angry because she's claiming it is a feminist. Now, she might be better known for, what does she play? And she also, she looks nothing like Barbie. Like, if you're going to make a movie about Barbie, like, make it look like they actually look the part. Another weird, bizarre thing for casting as well as the lack of cosmetics and they could have done better to actually make her look like Barbie. Now, she's also known for playing the actress in Harley Quinn, which that movie actually advertised as saying, toxic men are going to hate this movie. Men don't go see it, which it worked perfectly because I never even heard of the movie. So their advertising worked, which is a smart way to alienate half of the audience of prospective people who would want to see a movie. Harley Quinn is supposedly the Joker's girlfriend. And this, I don't know if this is, I can't tell if this is her on or off the set, but it is this person looks inebriated and using illicit drugs. So she is one of the actresses saying, oh yeah, this is absolutely, this is a very, very feminist movie. And you also have the actress Isa Ray, who plays the Barbie president. Hey, President Barbie? How are there more than one Barbie? So are they all Barbies? Who's marketing this crap? 
I thought there was one Barbie in the Barbie universe, and all the other ones were different names. But I guess in terms, I guess of like a term like human, they're Barbie. Bizarre. So actress Isaiah Ray, who plays the president Barbie, also made it clear that it has feminist messaging. While asking how she identifies a Ken, Ray said, "Quote: I think I think Ken for me is just kind of there. I think Ken is a great accessory. That's what I loved about Greta's imaging of Barbie is that." Kens are just supplemental characters to these Barbies. While Barbies can do everything, Kens are there as a kind of support and don't necessarily have their own story, unquote. Which is yet another example, 995,862, of Hollywood hypocrisy. Because I, I dare someone in Hollywood to make a movie where they say, oh yeah, the, the wife is just an accessory. So maybe that maybe I shouldn't need to sound like it's the 1920s or something. Yeah, yeah, the wife is an accessory. So you should, you're just kind of there. Yeah. Or maybe that's more of a gangster in the 1920s. Nevertheless, it wouldn't happen. There would be, again, there's a disparity between, well, no one really cares about men's rights these days, which is concerning for the poor, poor souls to actually get divorced and have their lives destroyed completely. But it's one of those things where no one's going to be throwing up a picket rally and protesting this movie. Partly because I don't think enough people care because it looks like garbage. But she actually added... And I think it's not necessarily a negative thing. It's incredibly strong for a man to be supportive, to be in supportive roles and support the greatness that is woman slash Barbie, unquote. Which again, I thought Barbie was a woman. What are they saying? Is it an either or? This is bad communications all around. And the executives are rightly scared, the, scared to all deaths that this is going to be highlighted as a political film. Because they're saying time and time and time again, these films have been cratering into the ground. You have Elemental, I think it was from Pixar, where the main character of this animated film was a ambiguous, uh, it was a, a they, their pronoun. And it was a kid's movie. Parents decided we're not going to spend money to have our kids introduced to these themes at this age that they're at. And that movie's going to lose probably $250 million. It's doing terrible. And you're seeing the same thing I believe The Flash came out with the controversial actor who has a track record of being arrested and assaulting women. That's, which is another example of 9,955,853 of Hollywood hypocrisy. But they still start him in a movie. Well, I guess he saved his own career because he, he changed his pronouns to be they, them. And then they rehired this person. I suppose I don't have to worry too much about my channel being demonetized because it's not monetized yet. But once you do, you have to be careful about all those words, which is why I'm also going to upload these to Rumble shortly in the future. And another, another time where you can actually take a couple of minutes to take time, or seconds to like, subscribe, and comment. Each one of those things greatly helps out the channel and tell your friends, because, of course, guerrilla marketing is key. And someday I will have enough money to put a poster board on a gorilla so that we can have real guerrilla marketing. I don't know what zoo or if you could release that in cap into captivity, but that would be... A great marketing campaign. You gotta think outside of the box, people. Now, Mattel executives, again, they're scared that's gonna be, and they actually also introduced more policies to the movie. They have a a male who, had, wait, a male who identifies as a female play the Dr. Barbie. So there's a doctor in the movie as well. Which is also sexist to think that the male, the doctor has to be a male or male born. That there's progress in the Barbie universe. Apparently not. They also wasted more paint than ever before. There's an article last week saying, there's a shortage globally for pink paint because they use so much pink paint on the set of the Barbie movie, which now that I think about it, that's probably a good thing. There's no real legitimate reason to have pink that I can think of. There's like one day a year Hallmark twist your hand to pretend like to show your love for someone, which again, you don't have to wait all year. That's ridiculous marketing. And again, this movie is going to crash and burn. Same with Indiana Jones for the same reasons. They're insulting politics into something where people don't want to be preached at. This movie is also going to alienate most of his audience because because half the United States. I can't contemplate a single man who would go to this movie. Unless the wife really hated him. It, if a wife was passive aggressive, she might be able to get her husband to come to this movie. Like, that that's the only conceivable way I can think of a man voluntarily going into a theater to watch Barbie. And again, you don't have to have politics. Super Mario Brothers made $1.3 billion 
dollars at the box office. And there's no politics in that. It was just a cartoon movie based on the intellectual property people loved, which is another reason Mattel should be scared shitless. Because this is one of the most legacy, successful brands of the company. And they could potentially destroy it. That should be very concerning when, again, many there's many, 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 many different dolls that are made, but there's only one brand of which is Barbie, that people pay a premium for. And time shall tell to see if this is perhaps a business blunder of the year. Well, no, Bud Light's doing a pretty good job at that. They will certainly maybe be the business blunder of the week or the month. We'll see how little money this movie makes. Again, I'm not necessarily a gambler, but if I were to place money on this, I'd say, yeah, it's going to lose money. I would say, as Manager Gate Ball would say, now, look, the outlook is not good. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to do it today. I cannot thank you enough. I really appreciate it when you take the time to like, subscribe, and comment. Each one of those things greatly helps out the channel. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.